Hi all, this is Ian O'Byrne. I'm taking a look at how I would suggest setting up your computer to prepare for our workshop. Uh, this is with one screen set up. This is a 24 inch screen um, and just one laptop screen. In the photos that I shared with this material, with this video, I suggest that you set up one screen and have some paper to the side so you can take offline notes. I would also suggest that in addition to one screen, you have a tablet screen next to you or your cell phone or both if possible. Uh, obviously, not everybody has access to all different types of technologies, but if you only have one screen, here's how I would suggest working with it. So one of the first things that we're going to do is uh, we're going to realize that we're going to be working in Hopin uh, for most of our meetings and workshops and everything else. Uh, you should also have canvas open and so you're logged into canvas and then lastly i like to have some sort of note taking app this is google keep a way to jot down ideas and notes quickly um, in case i can't uh, get over to my uh, offline notebook or some other device so if i have hop in open uh, one of the things that i would suggest doing is splitting these up so i'm going to move my uh, canvas slides over here and then I'm going to move Google Keep over here. And then for hop in, what I would do is I would bring this over to this side. And then I'd move hop in over to the right. Um, and so basically this is a Windows PC, so it will automatically split these up for me. But you can pretty much see that there's the opportunity to have one set of materials over on one side of your screen and uh, your other materials on the other side. If I were using my computer in only one screen, what I would do is most likely uh, move this over a little bit. Uh, and what we're looking about, uh, what we're looking at is screen real estate. And what I want to spend most of my uh, focus, most of my attention on, as opposed to letting it decide for me. So what I would do is I'd have hop in open that way when I see video, I can have this screen filled up with video um, and I can still listen to what people are saying and then follow along and keep my work here. Um, it really doesn't matter if this larger panel is on the left or the right of the screen, depends on what your preference is. But basically I would have this as small as possible so that I'm comfortable so I can see the video and listen and pay attention to what's happening. Also, one of the things that you have to pay attention to is the chat. So a lot of times the video will show and then you'll have the audio and there'll be a chat feed. If needed, what I could do is I could bring in a, another tab and I could basically set that tab down underneath. So over here, I might have one tab open up here with hop in the video and the audio and down here had the chat feed for uh, hop in so that I can pay attention to what people are talking about and texting each other. But then over here, I'm pretty much going to have my uh, materials open up. So I'm going to have my workspace here and then these will be my communication spaces on this side. What I also suggest doing is if you're in a session, like let's take a look at this connect session here. What I usually do, and this is Chrome or Firefox, pretty much all the browsers work the same. So if I'm looking at connect session, what I'll do is I'll open different things and I right click or control click on a Mac and I say open link and new tab. And then what I know is, okay, during this time period, I'm in connect and I can go in and I can look at on the first tab, my connect uh, day one overview. On the next tab, I can look at the slides. And then lastly, I can look at the task for connect. So right now in two, three clicks, I have pretty much everything that I need to attend to uh, without searching through multiple browsers, multiple tabs. Um, this makes it a little bit easier for me to pay attention. That way I know, okay, I'm focused on connect. I'm in these different spaces. And then when I'm moving from connect to create, I can close these out once I know I'm done with them and I can go to create and replicate the whole system. Um, I can go in and open up new tabs, open up discussion threads, stuff like that. Um, one last point, what's really helpful for me is if you're in something like code, so let's get rid of these. If I'm in code, 
you really want a lot of um, workspace to work in something like Snap. So the nice thing would be you could pay attention to the tutorial or the synchronous meeting for code here. You might be able to listen to the chat. I mean, pay attention to the chat here. So you're watching and listening. You're uh, paying attention to the text. But then your workspace for Snap, you could have in this large panel. Also, also what you could do is you could take this slide deck and move the slide deck over here in this workspace and do your snap activities here depends on what works best for you but if you have one screen one screen only i would suggest trying to break that screen up into three parts and thinking of a workspace and like review spaces or content spaces and trying to get this moved over as much as possible so you can have a lot of workspace here by all means, this is not the best case scenario, but with one screen, it might be your only bet. So hopefully that helps you out. Let me know how you have your workspace set up.